We have a new member in the YOLO family. YOLO V12 has just been released. In this video here, we're going to go over the, the new model. So we have YOLO V8, YOLO 9, 10, 11, and now also 12. There's a bit of differences now compared to the other models as well. This is using flash attention. So this is the attention mechanism that we know from large language models as well. We're going to see how we can run with Autolytics. It's already available there in just a few lines of code. The whole model is based on the Delta Lakers framework and so on, so you can use it directly out of the box. Let's just jump straight into it. So to start with, we have opened up the Delta Lakers documentation. Then we're going to open up a Google Colab notebook after, so I can just show you how easy it is to run. When we're inside the home tab, we can go inside our models, where you can see all the members that we have in the YOLO family. YOLO V3 up until YOLO 12 now. We also have all the other base models. So let's go inside YOLO v12, attention centric update detection. You can also go inside the GitHub repo if you want to know more details. They have a paper that you can go through and so on. But inside the documentation, we have a quick overview, the key features, as I mentioned in the introduction. So now we have this area attention mechanism. So what it does, it basically just tries to mimic what we're doing as a human. Right now I'm looking into the camera, so I'm paying more attention. There's more attention in my images going through my eyes on the camera. So all the surroundings around it, like all the things here to the left, to the right and so on, I'm not really paying attention to that. I'm only paying attention to looking into the lens. So the camera is in my attention now. So this is what they're trying to do with new YOLO V12 model. You can see we have other different types of stuff here. The use of flash attention, so right now it's only supported on TPU. It requires like CUDA because it's optimized for CUDA kernels running this flash attention. And that's also how you get the fastest inference speed. So if you just go inside the YOLO V12 GitHub repository, we can see that this is the benchmark result. Just because we have the best benchmark result here on the Coco dataset, it does not mean that it's based on your specific project or dataset. So make sure that you test out all the models. And the good thing about Autolytics, you can just test out two, three, four models with just a few lines of code. You can just run it, go for a coffee, come back, and then you have all your models trained. And then you can do comparisons, use them in your own applications and projects. So you might still get better results with YOLO 11 or YOLO V8, depending on what data set and problem you're trying to solve. It's just as fast as YOLO V11 pretty much. YOLO V8 is a bit slower, but sometimes it has better accuracy and so on, depending on your use case as well. So this looks very promising. Let's now go back into the documentation. We can see all these different tasks are supported. So we have segmentation, pose, classification, or any bounding boxes, and traditional update detection, all the variations. So this is just exactly a new version nano, small, medium, large, and also extra large. We have to use the examples. You can just train it directly from the command line or run inference with our predict command. Or in Python, we can just load in our model, do the training or the prediction, as I'm going to do in a Google Colab notebook in just a second. So right now here, we can see that the YOLO v12 implementation, by default, it does, it does not require flash attention. But flash attention is actually like used to make it run fast as well. So to compile flash attention, one of the following NVIDIA GPUs is needed. So you basically need like a, a, a CUDA GPU if you want to run this as fast as possible. But it does not require that as, as default. So you could run it without. But again, you get the speed comparisons. Like you probably just go with YOLO V11 unless you act like have these GPUs that it can run specifically on. YOLO 11, very good on both CPU, GPU, and so on, and also V9. So this is a key improvement. Let's now open up a Google Colab notebook. So I'm just going to open that up and let's try to see some inference results. I'm just creating a new notebook here. So you can see like every single step and it's just a few lines of code as we are used to. So this is basically just covering like the exact same way as we usually do, but we now have the new member. First of all, we need to pip install Autolytics. There we go. That's everything that we need to do. Now let's act like use a GPU. So I'm going to connect to L4 GPU. You can use the free GPU resources available in Google Colab. So now I run it, it will first connect to the runtime and then it will pip install Ultralytics. If you go back inside the documentation, let's do it in code now. Let's grab this one. The only thing that we need to grab, there we go. I will also have a video. So I'm just gonna take a video here. I'll just open it up. So we have this road.mp4. 
So this is the video that we're going to pass through it. We can test it out with different variations and so on, see how fast it runs, but also what results are we getting? So we'll just open up the folder structure. I'll drop in the video. And when you actually want, you can also train your own custom models. We have videos covering that in the exact same way. You just have your data YAML file, specify the path, you train it in this way here. So definitely make sure to check those videos out. If you want to train your own custom v 12 model and then benchmark it, or basically just go in and compare it with other models. So right now we have connected to the runtime. I should then be able to upload my video file. There we go. After it's done uploading, we can then call YOLO 12 Nano. If you want to run 11, we just do 11. Now we have 12. We don't want to run training right now. We can load in a data set. Let's just go in and take a look at uh, model inference and we just specify this uh, row.mp4. So now I get the video. I can throw in the path. Let's go in and specify the arguments. So I'm going to set save equal true. So we'll go in and save a video file of the results because right now in Google Colab Notebook, we can't open up the video capture or like the show from OpenCV. If you are locally, you can both run save, you can run show, you can specify all these arguments here, which can be found in the Autolytics documentation. We can even go in and set the confidence score threshold as well. There we go, let's say 0.4. So right now we're just going to save it. We can take a look at the inference time when we run it through. So right now we can see we still need some time to upload our video. So if you're just about to go for a coffee, you have your own data set and so on, you just go in, take these few lines from the documentation, we just copy paste, we swap it out, we take 11, and then we take YOLO V8 nano model. You run these three blocks of code, it will save it into your runs directory. You go grab a coffee, you drink it, you come back, and then you have done your work. Then you can get started with actually implementing it, like exporting the model, try to run inference with it and so on. So then you can actually focus more on building applications, solving use cases and so on around these models. So now we have the video file uploaded in here. We can just run our inference directly. In the output here, we're basically just going to get our results. We can see how fast it's running. So right now we have an L4 GPU. It's running around 17 milliseconds inference. So let's just round that up to around 20. So that will be around 50 frames per second. After done processing, we can just try to run through the YOLO 11 model just to do a quick comparison both time-wise, but also the results that we get out after. So right now it's saved into our run directory, runs, detect, and we have our predict. There we go. And if you're doing training, you will also have a training folder where you can extract the models. So we have road.avi. I've already downloaded the weights. So we're going to take a look at the results. Right now we're just running the YOLOV12 nano model. So this is the output results that we're getting with 12 nano. We're detecting a lot of cars here in the foreground. This is only the nano model running on 640 by 640 images. So this is very low resolution. We pretty much get all the detections in the front. But also expect to get that pretty much with the YOLO 11 model. Let's try to run that and just see how fast it is. So here we got around 17 milliseconds, where now we can see we actually get around 10 milliseconds for our YOLO 11 model. So I've been doing a lot of tests with the YOLO 11 model and also the new V12. I'm still getting a bit better performance on the YOLO, YOLO 11 and also better inference speed. Could be that there's some optimization steps here and there that can be made or some updates that will get pushed pretty soon. But yeah, we get. I think we get pretty similar results on YOLO 11 and also YOLO V12. We just have this new attention mechanism that could be good in some situations. That's why it's so important that you test it out make sure that you test it out on multiple different models for your data set and also the problem that you're trying to solve just to get the best results possible so if i just run the yolo 11 nano model here there we go i think we pretty much get the almost the same inference both detections and so on we don't really get detection in the background we need higher resolution or using sachi for that if you want to know more about that you can definitely check out all the other videos that we have on the channel we cover sachi image resolution, how to specify different arguments, run inference, pretty much every single step in the whole computer vision pipeline of how to create computer vision projects. You could also run the YOLO 8 model here, just run the inference, you can call the train command instead, where you just pass in the data YAML file as we saw inside the documentation. Here we go, results the train, you can also run the 
terminal command. So train the model and the Coco dataset. Now our epoch, you will get the weights file. You can use it in your own applications and projects. We have a new member in the yellow family. Definitely going to test it out, compare it with some different models. See if this actually like is a new better model. We get better performance on the benchmarks. We also need to test it in real world scenarios and data sets. Hope you learned on this video here. Go and check it out. And then I'll see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy training.